Right, you go first, check them out, and if they're safe, I'll follow you. <laughs> All right, when I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and where you're from. Paige from Charlotte, North Carolina. Trish from Charlotte, North Carolina. Nick from Charlotte, North Carolina. <laughs> Why, it's like an episode of House Hunters International. <laughs> So, what are you guys doing in town? I presume you're related in some way. Yep. Uh, father, mother... Yeah, not distant cousins, actually. Really? <laughs> no. <laughs> Here's the thing. Let the audience get to know you first, then start with the wise-ass comments, all right? <laughs> you just come straight in there right away. People are going to be upset. And don't ever embarrass me, dear. <laughs> Father, son, daughter, then, is it? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you guys doing in town? On um, vacation. Oh, that's lovely. LA? <laughs> <laughs> really? Have, have you seen anything exciting? We saw Hollywood. Have you seen anything exciting? <laughs> <laughs> no, this is it. It's quite disappointing, isn't it, when you get here and you go, what? This is it? Yeah. You're right. You're so, right, yes. <laughs> what town are you from again? Charlotte. Charlotte's great. Charlotte's got a great got that downtown area there. It's beautiful, isn't it, Jeff? Oh, I love it. Got yeah, the, yeah. <laughs> the downtown area of Charlotte, you get the NASCAR track there. Oh. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to be here for long? Two more days. <laughs> what are you going to do? Disneyland. Disneyland? Oh, that's... Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Patronize the folks, for God's sake. <laughs> well, good news, you're going to a restaurant at CBN's expense. Cool. <laughs> hold your fire, hold your fire. I'm hold on, fine. we don't know if it's a good restaurant or not. <laughs> Is it? Locanda Vanita. Vanita? Why, it's the best restaurant in the world. <laughs> yeah. So, let's, uh, let's see, the, the, so it's just the, just the three of you, then? Yeah. yeah. All right. You are high school? College? College. Uh, really? I just finished my first year at Furman University. A charming young lady. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you had a bad start, but you brought it back. Well, <laughs> what are you studying? Um, education. I'm going to be an elementary teacher. That's a fantastic job. Good for you. <laughs> what do you do? I work in insurance. You work in insurance? Mm hmm. An attorney? Shh, shh, shh. A lawyer? <laughs> <laughs> Get the hell over my show! Get the hell over my show! No, you guys can stay. Get on, get on! <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Valspar and the Love the Color Guarantee. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. Audience, traditionally the best audience of the week. Best That's ever, just what they right. say. Yeah. What they say. Thursday night always better than the Friday night crowd. The Friday night crowd always terrible. Terrible. Thursday night crowd great. 
Friday night. Friday night. No. <laughs> Awful. But we'll see what happens this week. Maybe you'll be nearly as good as the Friday night crowd. Or, uh, I don't know. I might talk this high for the rest of the show. Yes, yeah. I'm going to talk this high. I'm going to talk like an old Scottish lady. <laughs> I'm going to talk like my grandmother for the rest of the show. How are you, Secretariat? Are you acting a high-pitched Scottish accent? <laughs> This is quite believable, actually, wouldn't it? That horse is crazy! Horse, I tell you! Uh, oh, it's a great day for America, everybody! <laughs> it is. It, it is! It is a great day for America. Oh, yes, that's right. We haven't had magic week for a while. I just remembered that when I did that. That was like, it's magic. <laughs> You're welcome, stoners. Take a look at that. <laughs> Uh, do, do it again. All right. Yeah, there you are. I actually know it's you. By the way, that noise outside, it is the cops. Anyway, the... Uh... <laughs> anyway, a great day for America. Not a great day for uh, Sir Paul McCartney. Oh, well, you may well ask inquiringly. Very nice audience on a Thursday night. Really, Greg? What's going on with Sir Paul McCartney? I'll tell you. <laughs> Here I go again. Did you notice it? Oh, dear. I'll tell you, during a concert in Brazil, he got attacked by a swarm of grasshoppers. <laughs> That's a very unusual thing to have happen yeah, to you. Yeah. It, it didn't phase him at all. He just thought he was having an acid flashback. But they were like, oh! <laughs> they came out they were like that. <laughs> He's very professional, though. He kept on performing while the grasshoppers were filling the stage. We have a picture from the concert. Do we see the picture? There he is, right there. <laughs> <laughs> She's like... <laughs> All right. Now, the big news today, or this week certainly, is from Belgium. How often do you hear that? Like, big news from Belgium. People are like, huh? <laughs> Belgium, of course, is the home of Jean-Claude Van Damme and Papa Smurf. I love him, he's like an old man leprechaun. And Papa Smurf is nice too. In Belgium, <laughs> see what I did? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> in Belgium, they finally captured the jewel thieves who got away with 50 million bucks worth of diamonds in February. Here's what happened. The diamonds were on a plane at Brussels airport when a van cut in front of them, and then a bunch of guys burst out of the van and stole the diamonds. The diamonds, I, I said diamonds like that. Diamonds? I said diamonds like that to make it more sort of like, come here, I'll tell you as a story. <laughs> Anyway, the police in Belgium described it as a spectacular robbery. Well, they were Belgian police, so they actually described it as a... <laughs> Flemish, you see what I did? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They speak French anyway, I think. Yeah. Anyway, look, the... the... <laughs> spectacular robbery. <laughs> but the jewel heist was brazen. And when I first heard about it, I thought, there's only one guy that could have pulled this off. Jason Statham. <laughs> All right, lads, we get out of Haddock and Blouter, run up the apples and pears, and burst onto the tiddly wonk. <laughs> what is the bald man saying? I don't understand his accent, but I like his muscles. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Statham. You love Statham as well, don't yeah, you? Right, you yeah, right. Well, we love Statham. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know what? I've got to come over here and do something really horrible. Yeah, bit of the old, bit of the old mutton Jeff, eh? Yeah, the, old, old, the old diggly wonkers, the, the plinky bomb. Yeah, bit of the old geezer piddle, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I want to know is, why were there 50 million dollars worth of diamonds being shipped out of Belgium all at once? They should have divided the shipment into tiny portions, then send them out in a lot of different packages, like I do with my meth, just like that. <laughs> I've said too much. Call me Heisenberg. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm talking yeah, about, right? Yeah, yeah. Isn't that a great show, that uh, Breaking Bad show? Great show. Oh, man, I love that show. Ah. <laughs> ah. And then the kid dude, he's like, in the house, yeah. in the house. He, like, he talks like that, and everybody, it's awesome. <laughs> Oh, yeah, the jewel heist in Belgium. Anyway, the, yesterday, the Belgian police arrested 31 people involved in the heist. Now, that's a lot of people. Imagine uh, 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 all the people that watch this show. Yeah, about that much. <laughs> 31. 31. <laughs> <laughs> 50 million dollars, it sounds like a lot, but when you split it 31 ways, it hardly seems worth the effort and the risk. That's, that's why I, I rarely participate in 
menage a 31. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. What? Well, yeah, yeah. I don't know where you're going with this, Craig, but, but we like the word menage. Yeah, it might be getting sexy all of a sudden. Anyway, the police in Belgium say that uh, some of the jewel thieves are still at large. They could be anywhere in the Belgian area. Have we got a map of Belgium? We must have. Yeah, there you are. There's uh, Belgium, there's the Keyland, uh, Norway. Oh, well, you got the villains, the heroes, and the drones. It's all. Yeah. <laughs> I like I like Norway and yes, yeah, way. That's my yeah, favorite. Yeah. <laughs> but one of the jewel thieves that was captured uh, yesterday is also a lawyer, which is a shame because now lawyers are going to get a bad reputation. <laughs> <laughs> is anyone surprised a lawyer was involved? I mean, imagine being a jewel thief by night, a lawyer by day. You go from one job, taking all that money, wrecking people's lives, then on to being a jewel thief after that. <laughs> you see what I did? Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. I don't like lawyers. I never have done. I'm talking a bit like Stafe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you do a good Stafe, yeah, didn't you? Yeah, social commentary. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. Talking about lawyers, don't like them much. No. Yeah, like yeah. that. <laughs> Anyway, the jewel thieves are, are in a lot of trouble, not only with the police, but with their wives, obviously. <laughs> yeah. You know, do you want me to give back the earrings? I don't think so, no. Because <laughs> they're all married to Nazis. That's, That's true. another yeah. thing. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> like, so I uh, thank you very much for the jewels, my darling husband. This is very interesting to me. So interesting, I will walk back and forward on one leg. <laughs> I move the leg forward and then the leg back. The hokey pokey goes this way, the hokey pokey goes that way. That's what it's all about. <laughs> yeah. Didn't make any yeah. Sense. Good stuff. I think I'm done. When you start doing the hokey pokey, it's time for a commercial break. Oh, that's good, man. Go, go out on that World War II humor. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> hokey pokey in World War II. Yeah. yeah. It goes well together. That was tonight's jokes for senior citizens. <laughs> uh, yeah. We were right back. I said, we'll be right back. which tonight is 98% legal, right, Jeff? Yeah. I feel, I feel bad. I feel I've been a little tough on lawyers this evening. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's... <laughs> you know, sometimes the lawyers will say, you know, we, have to, we don't know if we have a, a, a joke planned. We have to approach the lawyers for the show and say, uh, is this, you know, what do you think of this joke? And they go, oh, it, it's in poor taste. I'm like, I don't care what you, what you think about it. <laughs> is it legal? <laughs> And many times it is not, in fact, legal. No. <laughs> Jeff and I did an illegal joke last night, didn't we? Terribly illegal. We, what we did is we made up a word that doesn't exist, and then CBS bleeped it. <laughs> <laughs> totally fictitious word. A totally fictitious word for... It was cold nipples, nipples I think, was the word, right? right? Yeah. Right. We can, say, we can say cold nipples describing nipples which are cold. Yeah, I mean, that's perfectly acceptable. If you want to, you know, say a word picture, you know, paint it like you say, gather round the file, I'll tell you the story about the night I had cold nipples. Then that's all right. <laughs> but if you say the made-up word for cold nipples, they'll bleep you. <laughs> I know. What the hell, man? What I know, I know. Make up another word. What if we make up another word? No, because we're just going to bleep that. What the hell, man? We, well, apparently, there's enough words, so no more. <laughs> This is a new uh, law, apparently. No more words, there's enough words. That's, we're tapped out. We've reached the limit. Yeah, that's it. No more words. All the layers are used up. So if, if I said my Schlarman is cold, <laughs> that doesn't work. I don't know. Can he say Schlarman? Schlarman. Schlarman. Well, okay, then my Schlarman is cold too. <laughs> and I have to be careful because my Schlarman is very temperature sensitive and is, of course, enormous, as that's you know, true. Jack. That's true. 
Gotta... Please, yeah. please, no, wait, wait, no. See, this is the problem. This, what's happened here is this. Now uh, that you've alerted the lawyers that you are entertained by what happened, and now they will cut it away from you. Cut it away from you! That's true. Now we're in trouble. No, we were in trouble, ooh, about halfway through the monologue, I think. <laughs> uh, what time is it, Jeffrey Pearson? It's tweet mail time. Time to take advice from a man who has a notoriously girthy schlarman. <laughs> it's true, actually. It's true. It is, it's yeah. true. It's true. It's, I have a very girthy schlarman, which is, uh, which is tough because, you know, I'm a martyr to it, really. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I, I don't complain because I, I, I try to remain chipper. Yeah. Try to make up beat for the ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, it's been very hard for you to get through life, I understand. <laughs> difficult, difficult. It's been challenging. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what time is it? Tweets and emails? Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you want to do a jingle? Yeah, you want to play a jingle, yeah. would you? Tweets and emails. Tweets and emails. Um, this is from Sal in Kingston, Rhode Island, who says, Dear Craig, and Rhode Island's a tiny little state, of course. Yeah, very small. Like the opposite of my Schlarman. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dear Craig and Jeff, what's the best way to ask a girl out for the first time when you're not sure if she likes you? Oh, um, uh, Jeff, you're yeah, a romantic. Uh, want to wanna squeeze the Schlarman? Oh, man. <laughs> See, what's, what's going to happen is this. What's going to happen is that I guarantee during the next commercial break, Michael's going to come over to the desk and go, you know, you really can't say Schlarman. <laughs> you know, the thing is, that at first, at first it was fine because it's clearly a made-up word, but yeah. you're starting to define it by the way you're talking about it. Well, Schlarman, it's like, you know... The door keeps saying it, man! What the hell, man? <laughs> All right. This is from Lazo. Is it legal to say Lazo? Sure, yeah. All right. This is from Lazo in New York, Delaware. That's where the credit cards come from. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, hi, Craig and Jeff. What are the chances that tonight's show is a repeat? Um, good. Yeah. Uh, this, is, this is from Kim in Springfield in uh, Montana. The, the Montana Springfield. Love it up there. Yeah. Oh, do you? Yeah, got it right. What about Montana? Do you like it there, too? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> 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 Dear Craig and Jeff, I've tried pineapple pizza the other night and it was actually good. When's the last time you tasted it? <laughs> I don't want to talk about pineapple pizza. I know there's many people out there that enjoy pineapple pizza and you're wrong. This is from Liz in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, you ever been down there? Place. Oh, I love it down there. Uh, hello, Craig and Jeff. Is there any chance you guys would come to my 21st birthday party at a private club in downtown Atlanta over the weekend? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll probably be there, because we go into the club. What happens when we go into the club? What do the ladies say when we go into the club, Jeff? Here come, Here come the, the players. players! And then what do they say, Jeff? They're so fun! <laughs> yeah. And finally, and finally, this is from Monica in Pittsfield in uh, America, who says, uh, Dear Craig, is the tiny little Drew Carey still hiding behind your curtain? I don't know. Let's take a look, shall we? Tiny little Drew Carey. His dog. Oh, yes, there he is. There he is, climbing the stairs. <laughs> We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right
Yeah, I know. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> My first guest tonight is a comedian and has a new comedy special, That's What I'm Talking About. Is that how you say it? No. That, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Which... <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, which premieres tomorrow night on Showtime. Take a look at Bob Saget, everybody. Bob Saget. Nice to see that here. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? And then oh, the, the future of the glue factory right over yeah, there. Hey, don't say mean things. Also, I not know. a real horse. That is not a real horse. Not a real horse. That's actually a very. It's a. Uh, it's a crip and a blood it's a inside the same horse, <laughs> and they take turns. It's my effort to bring peace to the gang wars of Los Angeles. It's a beautiful thing. So there's yeah. a conflict of interest, so like arm wrestling or something. So anyway. <laughs> It's nice. It's a. It's, it's a, nice. It's I nice. I thought it was a puppet. I thought, but that was years ago when you did puppets. But yeah, I was I, watching late on night. I had like a cold. I was on Nyquil, and I said, "Boy, those puppets got big." But it was that. <laughs> it was that two guy beautiful thing happening? Do you like a two guy beautiful thing, Bob? If the Price is Right. Where's Drew? <laughs> <laughs> He's behind the curtain, I Bob. Saw, He's behind I the saw, curtain. Yeah. I saw that. No, I, we got a tiny little Drew Carey. Now listen, Drew Carey got really thin, man. He's thinner than you or me now. I think that's amazing. I knew him when he started, and he was bigger then, and his tie used to stick straight up. With yeah, the... that's right. His tie used to lie. No, his, no. His, it it's true. Even... His tie used to lie flat on his belly. It yeah, just yeah. like was straight up. Well, he had a string, and it would make it go like that. Oh, he did? I, yeah, I think did he, he have a prop? I think, I think it was a prop. Yeah, a prop. Did you ever have props when you started? I had a guitar that leaked water. I, uh, <laughs> I sang. This is so bad. I'm really glad you brought it up. Um, <laughs> I sang While my, my, While My Guitar Gently Weeps, George Harrison Beatles song, and I had a shampoo bottle rigged up with a hose behind the crappy guitar, <laughs> and I sang it. It's an amazing song, and I couldn't have been worse done by a civilian than myself. <laughs> and I turned the valve and water poured water out, come out of the guitar. all over my pants. And then I would try to do it in like big venues, like a couple thousand people, and no one could see it because it's just a little bit of trickling water. So it wasn't good. It sounds like a good joke to me, and I think I'd like to see it tonight. I, no, 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 wait. Yeah. Not gonna happen. I can, I can do it without the guitar, but I'll need to drink five gallons of water first. Nah, nah, it's no. fine. It's all right. Hey, I haven't seen you since last week. And you are nice. And no. I'm telling you, no, he really is nice. I had a benefit. Uh, For uh, scleroderma I, research? Scleroderma yep. Research Foundation. <laughs> I had lost a sister to this disease about 18 years ago, and you were kind enough to right away say yes, you would do it, and you were hilarious. You did, you did 20 minutes of... Did I do 20 minutes? You did, and... and Sorry uh, about that. I was no. meant to do 10. I... <laughs> And then you sang What's Love Got to Do With It. It was amazing. Yeah. Bob, I don't think that was me. And I, oh, yeah, oh, I, oh, that was RuPaul. RuPaul, yeah. No, but, but you... Uh, were you always so think I'm RuPaul because I'm U European, but that's not the case. I'm not... <laughs> I thought you said almost poo Paul or you're a pooin. <laughs> <laughs> and that doesn't make any. That I makes think, less no. sense. Well, what if you're like in a bathroom? If, if no, no, no. Wait, no, no, stop, it's gonna, stop. It's not going to be dirty. Oh, okay. It's not going to be okay, dirty, okay. You're, and it's not going to be worth it either. So okay, maybe I should well, bail. Yeah. You're, you're the. You're at the Lafuanza waiting room. Lafuanza? Yeah, you're in. in oh, in Lufthansa. Lufthansa. I don't have. Yeah, Lafuanza. I didn't know. Where, ooh, that's right. Frankie Lafuanza. And, and they say, that's what I'm talking about. My favorite comedian, Frankie Lafuanza. Frankie Lafuanza. But they go, would you like to go to the restroom? And you go, I, no, I need to take a quick uh, poo Paul, which is what I thought you said. <laughs> That's how long it took me to go from not wanting to say it to saying it and then ruining just a uh, quick... I wish you, you brought the crying guitar. <laughs> <laughs> It's, uh, it's, no, it it's was having fine. a breakdown now. No, it was fine. What's the strangest thing you ever did throughout your stand-up uh, lives? I got beaten up by an audience. <laughs> Is that for real? Yeah, yeah. I was in Dunfermline in Scotland. I was really drunk. And I'm from, it's from the East Coast, and I am from the West Coast of Scotland. And I opened up my act with going, Hey, where I come from, they call of all you people here sheep shaggers, which is ridiculous. I thought, oh, that's terrible. And now I've been here for a while. I've seen your women. I understand why you're like that. And they go, really? Uh, Man. Hey, hey, hey! Wait a minute. In my defense... In my defense, I was drunk. 
Well, also, I have seen their women, and my first response was, ew, <laughs> which is a sheep kind of sound. It's a sheep kind of a sound, yeah. It's we like, have a lot in common. Uh, we, we both oh, that's a cow, isn't it? Uh. I don't know. Whatever it is, it's wrong and it's hot. Um, <laughs> sorry. But you, you were fabulous that, that You night. were great, although I had to go before you went on, but it was fantastic to see. <laughs> Sounds like a bad bachelor party. No, no, you know who was, you know who was nice that night? Jimmy Kimmel. Jimmy Kimmel's a lovely guy. Lovely. Did the lovely auction. Guy. And, yeah. Uh, made a lot of money. Yeah. He's... Everybody, Bill, Bill Bellamy, Jeff Ross, and uh, Jeff Garland, all friends of mine. Yeah, Jeff Garland's a funny guy. He said, can I come on your show? I said, yeah, Jeff, any time. He said, I, I, get, I want to come on and promote Game of Thrones. I said, great, <laughs> but are you in it? He said, no, I've got nothing to do with it. I just enjoy it. <laughs> I said, you anything? want to come on and, and right. talk about Game of Thrones? He said, yeah, people should be watching it. It's great. I said, I think people are watching it. He's like, no, I, I should come on and promote it. Yeah, I want to promote the new Star Trek movie right now. Okay. okay. Have, have you seen it yet? Not at all. Okay, right. <laughs> but I also wanted to say happy birthday to you, because you oh, and next, I have a you thing. Have the same we birthday, have a, yeah. we have May 17th yeah, uh, is yeah. our birthday. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, hey. Hey. Well, you're, very, you're, very, you're very strong. Yeah, I'm very strong. You because that, that although like our, our birthday is on the same day, yours was a few years before mine, so... My, yeah, I'm sorry. Meow! Yeah. So, <laughs> so when I'm doing this, you're like a macho, and I'm like, girl power. I yeah, yeah, that's it. No, I think I actually punched a little too hard. <laughs> Bob, don't. Bob, don't. Please, let's go to dinner. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> do you have, so it's Enya has our birthday. Trent Reznor? Yes. Yeah. Sugar uh, Ray Leonard. I'm born to the bitch. Trent's wife is here. Um, <laughs> and uh, uh, the great Dennis Hopper had this birthday. Yeah. yeah. Enya's the one that we like to... Enya. We'll be right back with Bob Saga, everybody. Everybody, welcome back. I'm here with uh, Sir Robert Saget. It's just been announced Bob. Bob is being knighted by the Queen of England for services to comedy, isn't it? Yes, I, I went up to her and she said, knight. <laughs> Basically telling me to leave. I didn't realize it. Well, the Queen? Do you know the Queen? Or no, it was just queen? some dude on Santa Monica, but I... <laughs> he said knight. I said all. <laughs> Please talk. Bring out your guitar that gently <laughs> weeps, Bob. What's the worst gig you ever had? Beaten up, is what you're saying? Beaten up, yeah, yeah. What's the worst one you ever had? I was in Alaska in Anchorage with, uh, I was told to do this gig for cash. I was like 23, and Kevin Nealon and I went with another comedian, and we worked a strip club. Ah. And, uh, they, and at that time in Anchorage, pot and guns were legal, uh, which was uh, <laughs> it's a lovely combination when you're performing. It certainly uh, keeps things lively in a civic uh, environment. And it was, it was a small civic area, mm. and uh, this lovely lady came out with pie pans over herself and over her nether regions, and she had matches taped to them, just scotch taped to them, and she blew herself out uh, and then said, and now the comedy of Bob Saget. <laughs> And I got paid cash. Yeah. yeah. And Kevin Nealon, who's a wonderful guy, we went on Very a funny tour guy, around, yeah. around Alaska. And the other comedian, uh, we stayed in like some comedy condo thing, and he stayed in the in the trailer with the strippers. I think he got the good deal. <laughs> Which other comedian are we talking about? I, I don't. Remember. Tiny little Drew Carey. Is Can't that what we're talking about? <laughs> anyway, we're out of time, Bob. Well, how can that be? Uh, well, you know, the universe began with a giant bang, I and then, you know... All right. I, apparently. I don't know. It might have happened, uh, I don't, whatever you believe. Well, if it was a giant bang, then there... there... Oh, Bob Saget, everybody! We're, 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 we're. beautiful and talented actress she stars in for my money maybe the best show on television amazing right now. show a great Absolutely. show a modern family wednesdays on abc take a look at this <laughs> sarah highland everybody sarah highland. I 
lovely to see you. You look enchanting this evening. Thank you very much. You look like a fairy princess. Oh, why, thank you. Is that what you were going for? Uh, you know, I was going for some spring action, but I'll take fairy princess any day. Yeah, it's good. You're a little shivery. Are you cold? It's, it's a bit cold it's in here. It's cold in yeah, here. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's very cold here. But I'm good. Got Here's the some, there's me, some you know? towels here. Put them... <laughs> Put them around my hands. Yeah, all right. There's some towels and there. Put some over there. Is that all right? I don't want right. to ruin your look. It looks Aren't so nice. Like you used to be used for like baby diapers or something. Yeah, yeah. That's before. Yeah, baby diapers now are disposable. Right. But uh, there yeah. you are. Baby diapers all over myself. Well, yeah, there. Do you feel? Is that, is that warmer? I'm good now that I have the lights off. All right. Okay then. I'm good now. Do so you right. want your well, diapers back? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to need them. <laughs> uh, so, Modern Family, that's yeah. a pretty good show. Good Lord. It's a lot of fun. It's the top-rated show in, in television. Thank you. Is it? I, I don't know. No, do I. But <laughs> i tell you what, though, I like it a lot. It's really good. It's very realistic, I think. It is. Everyone right. really relates to it, so uh, that's good. Yeah, is your family life uh, complicated, not complicated? You don't want to talk about it. I understand. <laughs> Um, I have a family full of actors, so it's always going to be complicated. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's all actors. You all act all the time like at Thanksgiving dinner, you say. <laughs> this turkey must die. Well, very dramatic. Are you very dramatic in your family? I, I mean, everybody. Isn't every family dramatic? I don't know. My family are very passive aggressive. Uh, you know. Well, uh, that's, I mean, that's a bit dramatic in the end as well. Well, it can be, but it it's very kind of understated. I mean, are your people very kind of... Effusive? Yes, very emotional. Well, I think that's good. What's your background? Where are your people from? Um, uh, mostly Ir Ireland and Scotland. Holy yeah. crap. Irish and yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I wouldn't have pegged you for that, actually, to no, be honest. No, everyone but... always thinks that I'm, like, Brazilian or Italian or something yeah, like that. Yeah, I just said that. Maybe uh, Spanish. You got to look a little Spanish. Yeah, but my I don't really look like my family, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you a question a different way. When you were very, very young, maybe, maybe before you were born, did gypsies come to town? <laughs> was there a milkman by chance? <laughs> no. <laughs> you know, there's a, the story of, uh, in Ireland, what happened is when the Spanish Armada was going to attack Britain. I you have heard this, this theory. Right. Yes. And they, they couldn't attack. So all these Spanish ships sailed around the north of Britain and then were shipwrecked on Scotland and Ireland on the coast. And all these swarthy... You know, Spanish soldiers came uh, out on the beaches, and these Irish girls are like, oh, would you look at that now? <laughs> and then you oh, get Irish man. girls that look like you, you know, yeah. a couple of hundred years later. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, I, I have that theory. I think somewhere down the line, my mom's dad's family name is Alfonso, so. Yeah, there you are. I think the mystery's I over. Mean, Alfonso, <laughs> something like that. Yeah, exactly. now, have you ever been over there to the old side? No, sun? I would love to. Yeah, you should go. I really, I really want to. Yeah, Very well, green, right? What? The green? Oh, yeah, it rains all the time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, do, you, do you golf since you're Scottish? I, I you know, I, I just mean, started it. Yeah. I just started it. You know, I didn't golf until I was 50 years old. Now I'm 50 years old. I thought I better take up golf. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know why. But anyway, I quite, I really like it actually. Have you ever done it? No, I'm good. I, I'm not really good, but I like putt putt. <laughs> Does that count? No. Yeah, yeah, it counts. Yeah. Why not? Yeah, it counts. Okay. It's, it's, yeah, it's good. But I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that you should go back and study your roots. You should go to Ireland and Scotland and yeah. perhaps a little bit of Spain perhaps for you too. Spain. Yeah. <laughs> Spain's a great country. It's fantastic. I've there. never been overseas. I uh, really want to. What? Go. Yeah, I've never been out of North America. Spain. Canada, Mexico. That's it. Well, that, these are interesting countries, but <laughs> the. Uh, <laughs> But you, uh, you got some money now. It's a hit show. Get yourself overseas. Oh, I want to. I want Young women, go to Paris, drink some coffee. People will approach you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it'll be nice. You'll have some fun. There, yeah. we got your summer sorted out. Yeah, anyway, there we go. yeah. And we're done. Uh, I like your snake mug. Thanks very much indeed. Is it missing a tooth? What? It is. I, I chipped a tooth on it and I wrote on it a bit. But you're too young to see the bottom of that cup. <laughs> It's all right. So what do you do when you're not acting then? Uh, do you, uh, you uh, wrestle? Uh, wrestle? I look, I look like, a, like a wrestler. No, no, I just thought you might. I, look, I, like, watching, I like watching TV. Uh. What do you watch on TV then, uh, Bob Saget? <laughs> I used That's to. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I was the biggest little house fan. I used to watch the Drew Carey show all the time. Oh, I was on that. Yeah. So it was tiny little Drew Carey. Uh, <laughs> But he was bigger then. I was yeah. Mr. Wick. I was the boss. Yes, I remember it very well. <coughs> I don't really, but uh, 
<laughs> but that happens. Yeah, you must have been very little. I was, that. I was, I was very young. But it was uh, my parents watched it, and I, I liked it a lot. Yeah, well, good. That's. I'm glad entertainment was provided. <laughs> Yeah, it's good. What do you watch on TV now then? I do you watch, watch Game of Thrones? I do. I was just going to oh, say that. Yeah. I'm I haven't seen it. Oh. Yeah, but. Uh, you should. Everybody says that to me. Except, here's a bit of information you probably didn't know. Lisa, the makeup lady here, oh. hates Game of Thrones. <laughs> she's the only person I've met that hates it. And she's from Ireland. She says, I don't like it. I don't... <laughs> oh, I wonder She'd be why. very happy that I'm telling everybody as well. <laughs> did, she, did she say? Did she, she have a reason? Uh, she did, but it was long. Oh, uh, I don't go that into that then. Yeah, yeah. I like Walking Dead. Oh, the zombie thing? Yeah. I, have, I saw the beginning of that and I thought, this is one I'm going to have to watch in a big, like, chunk. So I can't oh. be, you know, I don't like to get waiting. I like to get wait until they're all done and then watch them. Well, that's the thing is that I just, I just caught up on Walking Dead and then watched, I think it's in season four or something. And right. then I'm, I'm doing something down in Louisiana right now and I had a couple days off. Wait, so wait, I wait. What do you mean doing something down in Louisiana? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm working on something. I'm oh, yo, something. acting? Yeah. Oh, right. I thought you were like doing something, like doing a yeah, thing. No, like, no, doing no. A thing like... I'm doing a thing in this place. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I, I watched all of season one and two uh, of Game of Thrones and caught oh. up and everything. All right. Well, that's what I'm going to do, too, now, apparently. Yeah, go down to Louisiana and watch Game of Thrones. Uh, I think if I'll you probably. Know I think... I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can back here in a few years and you can do that. Uh, right now. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, we're out of time. Um, <laughs> so, uh, you want to throw a frisbee at my horse? Okay, cool. All right, then. <laughs> Sir Island, everybody. everybody. <laughs> there you are. Hey. Yeah, the Lord. Yes, Craig. You know, as I stand here at the end of the show, warming my testicles by the fire. <laughs> yes, yes. I begin to think my man, my mind begins to wander, Jeffrey. My your, mind. Your man begins. To my wander. man begins to wander. <laughs> what was that word you said, Ellen? Man. No, 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 no. The oh, other word. Schlarman. Schlarman. Yeah. yeah. Schlarman. So my schlarman begins to wander, Jeffrey. Yeah. As as it does. Yes. Yeah. And as my schlarman meanders through the memories of my life, I find myself concerned for you. Why, why is that, Craig? Well, Geoffrey, you're my dear and close friend. Yes. And it's my opinion you probably don't have a schlarman. <laughs> no, Craig, my schlarman is still in customs. <laughs> well, Geoffrey, I shall not rest until I have found your Schlarman <laughs> and restored it to its former glory and replaced it on your mantelpiece. That's I'm, what I'm, I'm talking yeah. about. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, everybody!